Today we visited a manufacturer of medical appliances in Shiga Prefecture. Hi, I'm Michelle. Today's Takumi Innovator has developed a new technology that helps people who have difficulty walking. Let's go and find out. Nice to meet you. I'm Michelle. Hello. Thank you for coming today. Today's Takumi is Takashi Nishikawa. He showed us something that took him 10 years to develop. This is what we make here. What is this equipment? This is a piece from an artificial hip joint. The hemispherical cup and this stick-like component allow the prosthetic joint to move. The prosthetic hip joint is a reproduction of the hip joint found at the base of the thigh. The hip joint is a joint located at the base of the leg. In this joint, the protruding segment of the thigh bone fits into the indented segment of the pelvis bone. With Japan's growing elderly population, the number of patients with disorders related to hip joints is increasing. Prosthetic hip joints allow such patients to walk with their own legs. To implement this prosthetic, the upper part of the thigh bone is cut and a hole is drilled into it. A thin stick called a stem is then injected into the hole. The cup, on the other hand, is fit into the indented segment of the pelvis bone. Every year in Japan, approximately 100,000 surgeries to implement a prosthetic hip joint are performed. At the same time, however, around 1,000 patients suffer from post-operative infection. To solve this problem, the Takumi decided to increase the antibacterial properties of the prosthetic joint. To accommodate the bone, the surface of a prosthetic hip joint is coated with hydroxyapatite, which is the main component of a bone. To this coating, the Takumi decided to add silver ions, which have antibacterial properties. Whoa! Wait! It moved! What is that robot doing right now? It's blowing a mixture of apatite and silver powder onto the prosthetic. However, the Takumi's initial trials ended up as failures. To increase the antibacterial properties of the prosthetic, the stem and the cup have to be coated in a homogeneous manner. It was this process that we couldn't do. An uneven coating results in varying dispersion of silver ions, which leads to decreased antibacterial properties. This problem derived from the differing melting point between hydroxyapatite and silver. To solve this problem, the Takumi carefully adjusted the quantity of silver mixed into the powder, as well as the force and the speed of spraying. After numerous experiments, the Takumi finally succeeded to evenly coat the prosthetic surface by blowing the powder at around 3,000 degrees Celsius, melting it en route. Prosthetic hip joints also held the problem of durability. In experiments, the junction of the joint would wear due to friction, depositing around 35 milligrams of powder over the course of 15 years. The Takumi and his team tackled this problem by coating the interior of the cup with a special something. We set up an experiment to see the significance of this something. The one without the coating is stopping already. The other one seems to continue spinning. What is the difference between the two? A polymer is applied to the inner surface of this one. A special material called the MPC polymer is applied inside the cup. Polymers become like jelly when they absorb water. This jelly takes on a molecular structure similar to the cell membranes that form our body. The polymer hence acts like cartilage, greatly reducing the friction occurring at the joint. 
An experiment using a simulator showed that movement equivalent to 15 years of walking would barely wear down the prosthetic. It was previously recognized that the life expectancy of a prosthetic hip joint was 20 years. This innovative technology may massively lengthen this duration. Our product directly relates to the patient's lives. A perfect product would make someone's life better, whereas an imperfect product might ruin it. This is why we always strive for improvement and perfection of our products. There are already 40,000 cases using these hip joints with a special coating. We used to talk about life expectancy, but as the population of Japan continues to get older, now we also talk about healthy life expectancy. That means how long a person can live without requiring regular assistance. One part of a healthy life expectancy is people being able to walk on their own. So I'm sure there will be a growing demand for reliable, long-lasting artificial joints. Yes, currently the new coating is only used in hip joints, but in the future it could also be used in knee joints and spine-securing devices. Thank you very much, Michelle. So Dr. Tashiro, what are your final thoughts on infrastructure inspections? To continue using the same roads and bridges for 50 or 100 years, will inevitably require a lot of money for upkeep. The important point is that, over time, we gain the know-how to keep these structures in good shape. We want future generations to be able to live safely and with peace of mind. And that's all for this week's Science View. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time. <laughs>